hello everyone in this video i am going to explain the design of a sic assembler which is the continuation of a previous uh, video of uh, this uh, module one design of uh, assembler uh, uh, we have uh, mentioned about uh, two pass assembler that is the one design option of uh, assembler where the assembler makes uh, two passes over the source program and uh, these are the different functions that are carried out during the pass one uh, wherever uh, the statements are there all the statements are assigned with the addresses and uh, the symbols uh, are also uh, assigned with the addresses and they are saved and uh, if there are assembler directives do some processing so if i take with an example here uh, if uh, this is the uh, source program if this is the source program uh, assign the addresses that is what is uh, done and uh, all the uh, addresses and wherever the symbols are there like table count their addresses will have to be saved uh, and do some processing say for example resw uh, it checks how much memory space is needed how much memory space need to be reserved so that processing is uh, done during the uh, pass one and uh, pass one generates uh, an uh, intermediate uh, file so these are the main functions of uh, pass one what is uh, done during uh, pass two assemble the instructions generate the machine instructions uh, and uh, for the constants also generate the code uh, that is a machine representation perform uh, processing of assembler directives that are not done in pass one and uh, generate uh, two outputs uh, one is uh, object program another one is uh, um, the assembly listing here if i take an example uh, the pass to what it does uh, wherever the uh, instructions are there that is for example ldx0 for, for that uh, for that uh, object code is generated and wherever the constants are there say for example word 5 5 is a constant for that machine representation is uh, generated during pass 2 and uh, generates uh, uh, two outputs uh, one is a uh, uh, one is a uh, assembly listing another one is the object program so this is uh, done during pass 2 so you have to remember these different functions that are carried out that are performed during pass 1 and pass 2 this is very important uh, next uh, during this uh, pass 1 and uh, pass 2 i have uh, mentioned that various data structures are used so these are the different data structures that are used i have explained also in the previous uh, video uh, you can refer that uh, refer the notes also uh, here we uh, these uh, two passes uh, make use of these different uh, data structures lvcctr stands for for location counter op tab op code table sim tab simple table okay and you can see in this uh, pass one generates uh, intermediate file uh, that is used by pass two now we are going to consider the uh, design that is algorithm for these two passes pass one algorithm and pass two uh, both are important okay so these are the uh, uh, steps that are done during the pass one okay these are the steps uh, uh, how it starts uh, pass one starts reading the first line reading the first line of the input uh, source uh, program checks uh, do you have start if there is a start uh, take the operand and uh, assign it to lvcctr and uh, uh, write to the intermediate file and read the next input if there is no start lvcctr is assigned with a zero let me explain with this example if this is the source program if uh, this is the source program we have a start here okay if there what that algorithm says if there is a start take the operand value operand value is a 4000 and assign it to lvcctr and write this uh, complete line to the intermediate light write this to the intermediate file okay uh, then you read the next line what is the next line ldx0 if there is a no start you can also have a source program without start that is optional start is optional if there is no start lvc ctr is assigned with zero 
that's what is done okay continuing with the algorithm uh, uh, what that algorithm does checks do you have a end have you reached the end if you have not reached the end that is the end of the source program then repeat the different steps so what are the different steps uh, okay if it is not an end check is it a comment line if it is not a comment line okay uh, check uh, do you have a symbol in the label field uh, let me explain with an example here okay if this is the source program okay now we are at the second line okay is it a end no it is not a end so check uh, do you have a symbol in the label field yeah we have symbol in the label field what is that symbol that is a first if there is a symbol you enter that into the sim tab symbol table okay uh, before entering you check do you have that symbol already entered into the sim tab if not you enter that along with the value of the location counter as i told that location counter will be assigned with the 4000 so first will be entered into the sim tab along with the 4000 first will be entered along with the 4000 okay so that is what i have here yeah first along with the 4000 okay uh, similarly uh, all these symbols okay right like loop table and all okay uh, all these are entered into the sim tab okay along with what value of the uh, location counters these are the values of the location counters okay so that is what is uh, done if uh, uh, symbol is there in the label okay now continue with the next field in the instruction that is a mnemonic okay okay so if a mnemonic uh, okay if found I mean if mnemonic you continue with the mnemonic field after the label mnemonic check is that available in the op tab okay so that is what is done in the algorithm if this uh, mnemonic is found in the op tab LOCCTR has to be incremented with the next value that is 4003 add 3 to the 4000 initially it was 4000 loc ctr was 4000 and add 3 okay so that next instruction will have an address 4003 so that is done when this is done if this mnemonic is found in the op tab okay so you can refer now the algorithm um, okay so uh, search op tab search op tab for the op code if found add 3 okay now if op code is not found in the op tab that is in case if you have found these assembler directives such as resw re a word re uh, uh, byte uh, resb and all they will not be available in op tab okay so in case if mnemonic is not present in op tab okay check is it resw okay uh, i'll take one more example program here is it resw if it is resw take the operand okay in this case the operand is 2000 multiply it with the 3 okay and the result you add to the location counter suppose the location counter value at this line is thousand thousand should be added thousand should be added with this result two thousand into three okay so that the result is assigned to the next symbol okay so that is what is given in the algorithm so what that algorithm is uh, da, uh, checks uh, do you have a resw is it resw if it is resw 3 is multiplied with the operand and add it to the location counter okay now if it is not a resw it uh, may be uh, resb okay if it is a resb what that resb means reserve these many bytes okay so uh, 
the algorithm says that uh, this uh, operand value 4 operand value 4 has to be added to the LOC CTR okay so that is what is uh, checked here if it is uh, RESB add that operand value to the location counter okay if it is not RESW if it, it is not uh, RESB check uh, is it a word is it a word if it is a word the location counter should be added with the three location counter is added with the three so that is what we have in the algorithm if it is a word add three to the location counter this is how the processing for the uh, different assembler directives are done if it is not a word check is it re uh, yeah. is it byte is it re uh, yeah is it byte is it byte if it is a byte then you check what is the constant size in this case the constant size is 3 so depending on the size of the constant you increment loc ctr okay you increment loc ctr that's what is given in the algorithm uh, if it is byte check the length of the constant in bytes and add that to the loc ctr you remember uh, what is done here in all these statements okay handling of the assembler directives are done okay depending on this different assembler directives loc ctr is changed loc ctr is changed okay so that is what is done if a symbol if a mnemonic is found in the op tab the loc ctr is added with the three loc ctr is added with the three if it is not found in op tab yeah check whether these are uh, assembler directives that are found in the program depending on that loc ctr is changed okay if uh, none of this is uh, found okay then that means you have made use of some invalid operation code in that case you set the error flag okay then uh, you write to the intermediate file after processing of these uh, various uh, assembler directives uh, these uh, mnemonic uh, appropriately incrementing uh, these uh, loc ctr you write uh, into the intermediate uh, file okay so that is what is done so this is uh, repeated uh, uh, until you find end okay until you find end once uh, end is found even that is also returned to the intermediate file and calculate what is the uh, size of the uh, source program so that is uh, found as last value of the location counter plus first initial value of the location counter so this is needed during the uh, pass two. okay so that is what is uh, done in the last step okay that is uh, size of the program so this is about uh, pass one so on the whole in the pass one assigning of the addresses okay and uh, and uh, uh, saving and uh, saving uh, the addresses of those uh, symbols and uh, generation of intermediate file is uh, done in the pass one so output of the pass one is intermediate file and uh, that is given as a uh, input to the pass 2 okay now let me uh, continue with the pass 2 algorithm the this is the these are the different uh, steps of the pass 2 algorithm uh, what is done during the uh, uh, pass 2 of uh, uh, the algorithm it uh, um, uh, takes uh, this uh, uh, in intermediate uh, file it takes uh, this uh, intermediate uh, file and intermediate file and generates two outputs one is assembly listing another one is object program 
uh, what do you have in the uh, object program that I had explained in the previous video those are the different uh, records header record text record and record and what do you have in uh, assembly list name it will contain a source program along with the line numbers along with the location counter values along with the object code so that is there in the assembly listing so these are the two outputs of the pass two. okay how it generates okay uh, yeah I have uh, one more slide here uh, yeah uh, this is uh, uh, if uh, this is the intermediate file this is the assembly listing this is the object program you can see in assembly listing what all we have location counter values uh, uh, the so complete uh, source program along with the object codes that are uh, generated and uh, this is a uh, one more output this is the first output this is the second output that is generated during the pass two. okay how it uh, starts similar in the same way it uh, starts with the first statement uh, okay uh, uh, if uh, there is a start uh, you write to the assembly listing no instruction no object code is generated uh, read the uh, next line and at the same time generate the uh, header record okay header record fields of the header record you generate and initialize the text record initialize the text record means put t in the first column and put the starting address of the object code in the first uh, a text record so that is what is done uh, at first okay you can see here pass to algorithm it starts do you have a start if there is a start do all those processing okay then initialize the text record okay then you repeat with the other lines uh, check it starts with a, do you have a end okay if it is not a end check is it a, is it is uh, whether it is a comment line if it is a, not a comment line okay uh, uh, yeah I'll, I'll take this example program yeah uh, yeah the input will be taken from the intermediate file after the start what do you have is it a end no it is not end it is some statement ldx in this case okay uh, yeah uh, yeah if it is not a end take this opcode take this uh, opcode okay is it uh, available in the op tab okay is it uh, available in the op tab if it is available in the op tab then move to the opcode uh, move to the operand field uh, operand field contains what it's some symbol zero okay yeah uh, operand uh, field contains uh, zero uh, this uh, zero is uh, checked in the sim tab okay if it is available in the sim tab take its uh, address and uh, ldx uh, opcode you take it from uh, op tab and generate the object code that is ldx will be replaced by zero four how it is replaced by zero four by taking it from op tab zero is uh, replaced by 5788 how it is replaced by using sim tab as i told um, uh, pass to makes use of op tab pass to makes use of op tab makes use of a sim tab how it makes use of that ldx checked is it available in mnemonic that is a uh, op tab uh, it takes the symbol is it available in the uh, sim tab if available generate the object code and write into the text record okay you know that in text record the object codes are written okay so that is what is uh, done you can see here uh, how it is indicated in the algorithm uh, search the op tab if it is uh, found search the uh, uh, sim tab search in the sim tab if it is uh, found if it is uh, found assemble the object instruction generate the object instruct object code instruction okay and one more point here if a symbol is uh, not found okay if a symbol is not found in the symbol table set the error flag that symbol is uh, undefined so that is also done during the past okay 
now uh, you know that um, in the source program okay wherever constants are defined okay say for example word zero zero is what a constant okay if yeah in this example uh, if uh, wherever the constant is there defined okay say for example word five see for that constant also it has to generate the object code okay so that is what is to be done in the past two if you find a word mnemonic if you find a word in the mnemonic you take the operand and convert into its machine representation so that is what is given in the algorithm okay uh, if opcode is word or you can also have a byte also okay so in that case you generate the object code okay and uh, after generating the code for a word or a word or a byte generate the uh, uh, generate that object code and write that into the text record okay like object codes are written into the text record even these machine representations of the constants are also to be written onto the text record okay and uh, one more point uh, before uh, writing before writing these object codes into the text record the algorithm has to check whether the text record is already full okay if it is not full then only you write okay there is a limit for writing the object codes into the text record what is that limit it can hold only uh, the object codes starting from 10th column to 69th column after that you cannot store any more text records after the 69th column if there are object codes it has to be written into the next text record so that is what is to be checked in the algorithm if uh, the object codes does not fit into the text record create a new text record so that is what is done in the algorithm you just check in the algorithm uh, uh, that is Uh, here if object code will not fit in the current text record the current text record should be written into the object program and make use of new text record if the text record fits that is it will comes it will come to the else that is false part if the object code fits into the current text record you can add the object code to the current text record okay so uh, at the same time you also uh, write into the listing file okay listing file as and when you write these object codes into the text record the same should also be written into the assembly listing file okay so once you write uh, once the writing is done uh, to the assembly listing file and object program the after processing of a, a current line you proceed with the next line of the intermediate file okay so this uh, uh, processing of these uh, lines uh, will be continued until you find the end okay once you find the end the current text record is written to the object program and uh, it is uh, also written to the assembly listing and uh, write the end record in the object program so here that is what is uh, given in the algorithm um, once the end is found okay see you observe here all these are steps all these steps are repeated okay uh, uh, till you find end okay once you find end you will come out of the while loop 
okay where is the end of the while loop yeah once you find the end it will come out of the while loop what is done after the uh, while loop the last text record is written to the object program write the end record to the object program once you find end a similar directive text last text record should be returned to the object program because object program should contain the text records so the last text record should be written to the object program and uh, end record should also be there in the object program so that is also written and uh, the end statement should also be written to the listing okay assembly listing file here ends the pass to okay so remember pass to um, pass to takes intermediate file generates these two outputs assembly listing header record I mean, object program containing this different records okay so here we have reached end of the pass to algorithm so please study both of these two algorithms both are important thank you